Again, the slippery puzzle of banana. Look, do you see what I see? I do, yet another banana peel sitting in the middle of the road. Let's go pick it up. Not so fast. Why, what's wrong? Alright, let me guess, you got another banana puzzle for me. Oh, right you are, my boy. Sure. Got it. I knew it. Fantastic. Uh, here is something you might not know about bananas. The pills actually contain a bit of poison. Uh, Throwing a minuscule amount is probably not good to eat a banana pills. No matter how wasteful you think uh, it is to toss them. Oh god. We all over the town, but. Uh, do people in the future just love littering or something? With so many banana pieces to be gone, it's another one surprise me. I don't want to waste too much time getting a mess of that, so let's use the real way. Sounds good to me. Fine, let's wear your part ways. I've got a lot of things to take care of. Are you sure you're not running off somewhere to film it an evil plan of some sort? Now that I've accused me of that, truly, I'm wounded. I'm just going to work on a pet project of mine that I've been meaning to finish. Fair Paul, let's meet up, uh, meet up with later when you're on. You can find us. Can okay, later, I'm not a fool. I know where to find you. And now he's gone. Are you sure it's safe to let him wander on his own like that? When you said you could Luke, but I think I could trust him this time. He says, yeah, Professor, he must have cared an awful lot for Claire if losing her to you... Uh, leading her to you, turn him into Don Paolo. He said he was in a uh, fat way, but enough about that says we've just checked for now. We have work to do. Let's get moving, Luke. I still don't know where we're going, especially now, now that we know uh, future latents are fake. Well, in light of those new developments, the first priority is to liberate the Prime Minister. Dimitri fled time to go with Mr. Hawk, so he clearly has another height in the area. And we're going to find this other base. Got it. Oh, but first, we need to go to the, to the hotel. That's right, we need to go pick up Flora. Hopefully, she and Big Luke made it back to the hotel safely. I kind of want to say that I want to do 75 puzzles first, but uh, we'll just... I'll just first go back to the hotel and like, we'll see how many puzzles we need later on. We look to Flatstone Street and here we take the underground railway. So we get the truth. Dimitri is building a time machine to go back to the past and save Claire. Correct, or at least that's what he said. When we entered the floor to be going and didn't see any, resem any resembling a time machine. Excellent observation, my boy. Dimitri clearly had dest a destination in mind when he ran from the brigade time period. When he goes heading yet to another base facility where he performs his time trial research. Is that what you want? Is that what you were out looking for while uh, we killed Tower? The tower with Don Paolo? Yeah, in part anyway. I'll lay everything out uh, for you once we check in with Flora. Until then, I challenge you to think about the situation on your own. Professor Luke, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you're both safe. And the same to you, dear. Hopefully, getting out of the bed wasn't too difficult for you. No, no, Big Luke was kind enough to lead the way. So, speak of Luke, speaking of Big Luke, where is he? Hello, I want to go back here. A moustache man was running down the lobby. No, moustache? Was he dressed in black? Yes, that's right. He had a black uniform. It sounded like Shipley to me. Whoever he was, he wrote uh, right up to Luke and started talking fast and furious. Some point in the conversation, Luke got troubled 
look at my face and said, Flora, uh, some very important business come up. I need to take care of it immediately. Please tell the professor to carry on investigation without me for now. Did he tell you where I was going? No, but he did promise to meet back, meet back up with us later. Big look at your perceptive turn of thought. You know exactly what the next move is. Professor, is there any matter? I'm just thinking back to what happened earlier. Do you remember who first told us uh, we had traveled thanks to the future? Well, let me back look, I believe. Yes, yes, that's right. You have a visitor, Professor. Oh, who is it? Pardon some intrusion, Leighton. Oh, it's back to tell me. What can I do for you? I'm thinking about something uh, I... What's something uh, I saw while running about town? I don't know how to say this. When I've read it, I might sound a bit ridiculous. What's ridiculous? Well, just, you know, I could be mistaken. I'm quite sure of what I saw. You remember this question about the explosion at the Institute of Potential Research? A few minutes ago, I spelled out the woman on the street that looked just like one of the blast victims. Oh my gosh, you talk about Claire, aren't you? Do you know why I'm so. Yes, yeah, Spectre, you're not, uh, you're not alone. You also seen the woman you spoke of. The woman she bears the Claire is striking, but it's coincidental, it has to be. Yeah, I suppose you're probably right. Forgive me, I wasn't thinking clearly. Well, there's bound to be a logical explanation for this. If the similarity isn't going to show, or perhaps you could check in if someone is similar to Claire's. Hmm, I could take a little look in the file, uh, and see if I can find out more about her family. And by the way, uh, you haven't seen Barton around here anywhere, have you? But Barton, nope, can't tell after. I swear, if you didn't have me looking out for him, we'd have been uh, sacked to the forces ages ago. Uh, of course, I'm rather fond of the fellow. I intend to look out for him until I retire, but still. At any rate, if you see Barton, tell him his commanding officer is showing for him. Good day. So, where's the next? Uh, so, where's the adventure going to take us, Professor? Flora, this is an adventure. It's, trying, uh, it's an investigation. Can't you tell. Can't you try to make it. to take it more seriously? Jesus Christ. I take it very seriously, Luke. I was excited, that's all. Uh, not all of us get to go on these kind of, I mean, investigations all the time. Plus, you get to be with the professor day in and day out. Yeah, I guess the professor and I are always together. Well, I feel and I'm very happy to hear your enthusiasm, Flora. The two of us will get to the bottom of this case together. Let's head out. Are we heading back out so soon? Yes, we are. By the way, Becky, I found, I've been wondering if there's somewhere for us to cross the Thames. There's a bridge, but it's uh, it's quite a long way out beyond Chinatown. Louis, really, sir, did you return to cross the Thames? Oh, Grandma, I didn't realize you were awake. The reason we got told that would take a cross, but it went, uh, it went clear to the Thames, and people were just walking through to the other side. Wow, a tunnel under the river sounds amazing. Unfortunately, uh, once the family gained control, they closed down the tunnel. Uh, Sigil might know still. Sigil might still know a way through, though. Sigil? Oh, do you know? I'm sorry. He's in spot with his unibrow, blue hat, and steaming smile. I've got the with pride yesterday, though. He now spends most of the time down at the black market. Ah, yes. I don't believe we've met this friend of yours before. Do you remember him, don't you, Luke? Luke? Hmm. Where'd you go? You was just here a moment ago. Oh, you two are looking for Luke? You walked out over a second ago. By himself? Where could he possibly have had it? Please don't but I have to find my friend. Thank you for the information on Sigil. No at all, sir. Uh, we are to tell Duke are always allowed to assist our guests. Oh, professor, where could Luke have run off to? I don't know, but I share a concern. It's unlike Luke to take off without uh, so much as word. Maybe he's had to go on the secret mission on his own, uh, like you when we went on the tower in Begeda. Hmm. Well, regardless of his wish, you shouldn't be out there alone. We need to search for him. Barton? To the, oh, uh, hello, Professor. Can I mm, help you? But does he look roaming around the area? So, no, sir. He has, let, uh, has a lot of himself lost. He's willing to look the way. The thing is, I can't imagine where he could be. But it's, uh, but it's a cause for concern, isn't it? 
Oh, you inspect the missing person you snubbed, the inspector is looking for you. Oh, I see. Do check on the man when you have a chance, yes? Yes, I'll check in right after the snack. Oh, you're kind of fluke, Mr. Gentleman. Have you seen my uh, DJ Flicky Poo? Hello, Bella. I haven't seen the boy either. Luke ran off uh, on his own earlier, and I've seen him since. What? My Prince Charming is his bird? Oh, my poor fluke. I hope nothing's up to him. No need to worry yet, but if you see him, please let him know that we've been looking for him. No need to worry. My hunky chunk of a man is missing. I'll tear this down apart uh, to find him if I must. No, Flukey. Uh, my dear, I'll save you. Oh my, I never would have guessed Bella could run that fast. What's wrong, Monsieur? You look all worried. Hello, young lady. Did you see a boy walk out of the tower recently? Oh, the guy in blue? Yep, I saw him come out, but I don't remember which way he went. Sorry. That's alright. You already been most helpful. Oh, God. Hang on, you need something again? So it's actually bad. Just seen uh, the boy I'm always with come by. Ah, the country. Uh, I believe so I'm heading north. He didn't seem lost, uh, so I just let him go. Oh dear, now I wish I'd said something to him. Not worry, uh, I'm sure I'll find him soon. Thank you for the information. The beast today is nice. I wish my hubby would come home from work so I could go on a picnic. Shh, we don't need you. Hmm, <coughs> where's that, Leighton? Where's he and Luke, Inspector? He dashed off on his own just a few moments ago. Hmm, strange. Why well, isn't taking the away? I would have seen him. Uh, that's written. My check is safe for sure. I see. Then he must have had it in the direction of the flames. I thought the boy would join, would join to you at the hip. Why well, suppose every Hansen has uh, to learn to fly? I'm just a bit concerned as to where he's, all, where he's flown off to. I know the feeling. Barton gets me fretting over his. Because you're fretting over him twice a week. Easy. Of course, it looks uh, fairly bright than Barton. I wouldn't worry yourself. He'd turn up. Just the same. If you happen to see Luke, please let him know I'm looking for him. Aye. Look, there you are. Oh, hi, Professor. I see you're gonna have to scroll. Do you mind if I join you? No problem, sorry to run off. I was just, well, I was thinking. We had so much fun these last few years, and I've gotten uh, so used to going everywhere together. Of course you have. After all, we're the best of friends. It's only had two weeks spent time together. Dad told me the other day that his job is transferring him, so we'll all be moving. Ah oh, yes, you've already mentioned that to me as well. Tell me, look, do you believe that we're true friends? Of course I do. How can you even ask that? Good, so there's no need uh, to worry. You see, true friends uh, share a special connection. And this connection endures no matter how far we, uh, how far apart they may be separated physically. This is entire part are relevant to the bond formed by true friendship. Do you follow? I think I do, Professor. Excellent, let's get back to our investigation. We've got many mysteries to, sol to solve. Sounds good, Professor. Oh, it's, uh, it's good to see you in high, back in high spirits, my boy. Now tell me, can you guess where we're headed next? After thinking about it a lot, I'm guessing Dimitri fled to wherever he's building his time machine. But the question is where? We already know uh, that his research lab isn't in the Battalion Pagoda. That's right, so we must return to find the clues we've uh, gathered during investigation of this woman. Has anything we've seen around Stan Strokes seen just suspicious? Oh, you know, I've been thinking about an amount of white coats we've into here. There's a lab coat set out uh, about it. Perhaps this man are involved with Dimitri's research. Actually, now let's think back just a bit more. We met several men in lab coats around the town. Other than their garb, what else did they all have, all the men have common? Of course. They had wet shoes and wet pants. Um, uh, so all of them must have become somewhat near water, but where? What about the Thames? When they came to this part of town through the underground passage there. Um, Flora? The underground passage. We asked the lady at the hotel how to get across the Thames, and she told us about this tunnel. Wow. Yes, we met quite a few scientists who are uh, around town in our time here. 
And though they haven't been very forthcoming with details, it's clear they're coming from. My friends that the men work at a research facility located near the fames, and that they come in town to refresh themselves after long hours of research. Are you at this theory the whole time, Professor? It's been, work it's been working theory for a while, yeah, after all. Uh, who goes around in soggy pants? We saw too many men walking around in the state uh, for me to write the whole thing off as a coincidence. Therefore, I believe it's a research center somewhere on the other side of the fames. Amazing, clearly uh, I've still got a long way before I can uh, think like you do, Presser. Alright everyone, we're headed back to the Black Market Bazaar. Why right there, if we're trying to get across the fames, shouldn't we head back to the Riverside area? I'm sure we'll make it there eventually. Before you go to talk and chat to the man that bazaar them, I'm Unibrow, his name is Sigil. Jesus Christ. Okay, if you say so. Black Market, where the hell is Black Market? For her. Hello, Sigil. Oh, there's a reason someone called me by my real name uh, in some time. Where'd you hear it? The proprietress of the Hotel Duke told us. Ah, oh, they're old Maggie. She can be quite fierce and run leave it. Oh, she's good people. Anyway, what can I do for you? We're trying to find a way across the, the, fa uh, across the fames. We were told you might be able to help us. Have you tried jumping? To be honest, that's an option we never considered. Uh, I'm just judging with you. Well, there's a couple of boats that leave um, from in front of the uh, Thames Arms. But those are you uh, for years by the family and their good squad. I was told to know another way across. Oh yeah, so Maggie laid it all out for you, didn't she? More or less. Hmm, alright then, but things are pretty rough uh, across the river. If you set on uh, heading there, I gotta at least make quite your good brains to get across. Was it number 109, Trade Blocks? We need the three color blocks, and blocks uh, into the matching gold squares in a board. All three blocks must be in place at the end of this puzzle to complete it. Uh, to move the blocks, right to the board 90 degrees. Okay, sure. Okay, let's see how this goes. There that you go. should do the trick. Well, that's settled. Amazing, even though the number of blocks increases the way you saw the puzzle, remains the same. As long as you stay focused, it's not so hard, right? Hmm, okay, I see you got enough brains to take care of yourself out there, so listen good. Down by the riverside, there's a door at least uh, to a tunnel under the river. The door is locked tight in the blank sa bank safe, but there's the thing. There's a switch to open it. Go on. Well, it's not a button or anything straightforward. It's a fancy coded lock. But judging uh, by how you just solved my puzzle, you might have the smarts to break the code. Well, let's go. Look, there must be the door uh, Siege was talking about. I think you're right, Flora. Now, we just have to find the switch that opens the door. Bingo! So this is the switch Siege was think talking about. I think you can break the code, let's see. <sighs> okay, sure. 
for each of the four squares below, there is a there's a way to display the number zero to nine. Tapping each of the four numbers will enable you to change the numbers according to the hidden set. Put out the hidden rules and set all numbers to this. Okay, sure. There's always an increase in five. And there's always a decrease in three. That's an increase by three. That's a decrease by six. How about this? Okay. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Wait for the door. Put an A at 5, uh, B at 3, C at 7, and D at 4. You must have worked uh, that out unless you're one of those people that just keeps spamming the buttons until they set it to 0. Um, I mean, to be fair, like, I did work it out. Like, the numbers, like, the add ups. Well, I thought two of them actually went down instead of up, but sure. Um, it's the same. I mean, I did the trick. Yeah, the base is a mess. It seems the tunnel here has been neglected for some time. It's started to leak and fall apart. There's no way you make uh, the entire pants so thoroughly. Uh, no one will descend the signs if we never dry. Now the boats, oh, uh, dear, it's a family. Uh, crossing the flames is no easy task. Who knows the best way to move between both sides of the river from Paris? Professor, look, wait. If we try to answer that, my trust will get absolutely soaked. I know it's rough, but sometimes I'd rather have to be made in the interest of the investigation. Easy way to say, Luke. You are in short pants. Suspicious individuals. The man who had trousers and shoes are in fact scientists working in Dimitri's research lab. Uh, they walk along a particularly flooded tunnel under the river of flames. Uh, to get into the town when I want a bit of break from work. Hmm. <laughs> well, look who do you have here. You. Hey, I thought this place was unguarded. You got the wrong boy, I'm not on guard. I'm just taking a break, it's very relaxing down here. But now I've seen you, I can't very well let you just waltz on past. Let's you really need to pass through. Can't you just look the other way? Hmm. Doubtless you had the reservation facility, yes? Sure, whatever you you can get through. After all, I'm not exactly in the clock here. But that doesn't mean I don't have standards. If you can't measure up to them, I won't let you through. Standards, I got a standard. Puzzle standards, it look it uh it doesn't look like you solved very many. Come back you sold at least eighty puzzles on your belt, and maybe I'll consider laying you through. Are you sure? Then I do also think that 80 is like a maximum number eventually. Oh no. Oh look, I hit a puzzle. Oh god. 
an extra block. The green frame uh, and six orange blocks below are composed of identical uh, equilateral triangles. The frame can be perfectly filled using five of the six blocks. The blocks can be flipped or rotated in any direction. Uh, the ground block isn't used, sure. Okay, it's not that. No, he just treat them gold, sure. Actually, use one, two, three, four, five, six. You yeah, know, you have to do the. I guess not that one. Let's see if I've got this right. I couldn't draw the last one like there. It was just, just it, it fitted in my in my brain. I could fit it, but I wasn't able to draw it. Yeah, there. We, oh, okay. Sure. Excellent. Was it tough to assemble in your head? There's actually a really easy way to solve this puzzle. Did you figure it out? The ribbons composed of 22 identical uh, triangles. The six blocks together are composed of 24 triangles. It means two blocks. Many is means. Oh god. Nothing like a bit of access for the brain. If you've missed any puzzles along the way, you can find them in that little house. Just go knock on the door. Create the key. Hey, Master V, how are you doing?
Hmm. If you're in a position, this could be a star, but... Oh, wait. Allow me to present my solution. It seems I was right on the money. Well done. Now you can open the door. Uh, I think we have to. Oh wait, we have to go to eighty. The number plate you wrote is funny, right? But wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. To matter of fact, I paint all the numbers on backwards by mistake. Would you like to use them as soon as possible? But it will take time to fix a bunch of At the same time, the manufacturer would like you to make do it place sticky as well. Uh. The ones we cannot use, well, nine you can use because that becomes a six in the end. Actually, no. Uh. So zero one can easily use five. Oh, uh, become you get the result. By literally flipping these two upside down. Because this one in the end becomes a two. Nine and six won't work because those are um, third 90 degrees of each other and not like the other way around, so. I've got a good feeling about this one. Nope. Okay. Hmm. I must have overlooked something. I mean the five and two. Those are the one that like you can use those if you just put them upside down. Put the two upside down, you actually get a five. And what you have you put those upside down. I not just those, but sure. I've got a good feeling. Where are they to ignore it? Nope, okay, that's not it. Hmm. I must have overlooked something. The zone one can be used as is. Here's just hmm. The two and five look really similar too. It's not those. Okay, nine is literally mirrored of that. This one, if you put it down, you get the same as this. So it's, it's definitely those two. Uh, seven. Seven, you can actually mirror in like the right way. Uh, eight, not. They're all backwards. Four, you can actually put to use as well. Three, you can as well. It's actually only... That should do the trick. It's only six and nine. Just as I suspected. 
The other ones you can all turn around in some way. Awesome, 6 and 9 definitely won't uh, work. 0, 1 and 8 are sim symmetrically, uh, so they're clearly okay as this. If you rotate the 2 and the 5 at 180 degrees, they can replace each other, and rotating the 4 and 7 as shown above allows them both to work just pretty, just fine. How to tree? You just turn it around 180 degrees? Okay, so it's only three more. Isn't it just the cutest thing you've? It's flipped, but if you notice a tree, when well, you just um, actually they were all flipped. They were all mirrored from each other. Five shapes are drawn on the chalkboard below. One of them isn't quite right. Circular one doesn't belong. This one belongs. This one belongs. I don't think that one belongs. I've got a good feeling about this one. Nope, I'm done. Well, if at first you don't succeed... Do not have meaning. Do not have meaning. These are all sevens connected. These are all five connectors, these are all threes connected. Uh, these are all nines slash sixes connected. But there are too many other lines in here. Rip. That should do the trick. This is my... Wait, how... But four hmm. just has too many. I must have overlooked something. So it is not fours. Oh no! Wait, no, they're correct. Now that I look at them like another way, then it's definitely the sixes. Three, four, five, six, seven. That should do the trick. Just as I suspected. Oh yeah, I know. And I've played uh, some of the other games as well. The designs are made up of three trees, four fours, five fives, and seven sevens respectively. The old ball uh, is neither six sixes nor nine nines. I get it now. Noodling around, next puzzle. Balls of plain noodles and pork noodles are lined up in a row on the counter. Arrange the food so that the balls of plain noodles and pork noodles alternate, but make sure they remain evenly spread on the counter. With the views the number of moves it would take to accomplish this task. Uh, also in this puzzle, I'm only switching the places of two balls, count as two moves. Okay. Here's my answer. Um. <laughs> Phew, that's a relief. Yeah. Nudrific, you don't need to switch any of the balls around. You just need to move a ball of play noodles from one to the other. The third youngest. Person number zero seven zero. 
They attend siblings living together, Luke. Let's say uh, you're the eighth child. The oldest daughter is second son, younger sister. And the third son, older daughter. The fourth son is the second daughter's older brother. Uh, and the oldest daughter's older brother. There are no there are no boys between the third and fourth daughters at all. Oh god. Um 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 <laughs> I'm whatever. This one's as good as solved. I didn't think about that no one but sure, whatever. Stop Layton's apprentice. In the beginning, Luke was named for the eighth child. The puzzle is asking for the gender of the, the third child from the bottom, and since there are ten siblings in total, the third uh, from the bottom is the same as the eighth from the top. And of course, Luke, uh, and of course, Luke is a boy. Well, we have 18, so. Um, wrong way. Oi! Hmm, well, look who we have here. You! Hey, what's the place in the garden? Oh, God. Aren't you worried about what will happen uh, if people find out you let us pass through? Who's the point if you get through? You insult the boss. No one's got the brains for that. And now that he's got his high on you, it's only a matter of time before he traps you. We'll see you about that. Hmm, my break's over now. I don't imagine we'll be seeing each other again. Goodbye. I've already gone through like most of the conversation, so. Wow, get a load of this. I think it's the worth Dimitri's research facility. Do you think the Prime Minister is being held uh, here, Professor? Most likely, and that means the place is probably under very heavy guard. We're gonna look at Twitter Boy, everyone. Chapter 11, the Time Machine Facility. As I expected, we can't just stroll to the main gate. Perhaps there's a more discreet entrance to the place. Good idea, Professor. We might find another way in if we uh, search carefully. I think we can squeeze uh, in through here. Look you too, there's a message scroll there. Oh, where? Right there, right there, a little scrap of paper stuck to the wall. See it? There it goes. Ah, uh, sure. Around the four corners, squares below, A, B, C, or D, we'll unlock uh, the door and press. Start in the red square in the center and follow the order uh, coach in the top red. Uh, top red, blue, yellow to find it. Also, you can't do the same square twice. Which color will uh, which square on look? Okay, sure. Can I just nope? I have to start how to do it this way. Anything doesn't help us.
Um. Damn. Cross your fingers. I don't want to brag, but that was pretty great. That's it. Double left button will unlock the door. Ha, I did it. Who knows uh, what would have happened if I hadn't solved this puzzle. Yeah, it was greatly appreciated floor, but I do wonder who could have left it past the chair. It's about time. Glad to see you've had enough solve, enough to solve for your way through my puzzle. Oh, hi there, Don Paolo. Hi there, Don Paolo. Kid, I'm not going to share this. You pretend to be stars, won't you? Paul, how do you manage to get across the famous side of us? <laughs> Let me tell you a little uh, something about being a Trojan about Leighton. But you dead one keeps the secrets, so I don't think I'll be sharing them with you. You'd probably just use that goofy flying machine of yours too. It's not goofy, and I think I make myself clear the man is not open for discussion. Sheesh, nosy brat. For all, Paul. Now then, everyone, let's get to you on. The letter is sure to take us down to the research facility. Ah oh yes, Captain Obvious to the rescue once again. Stand aside, I'll lead the way. No way, I'm the youngest and the nimblest. I should go in first. But it never doesn't make you first, it makes you a monkey. Stand aside. Really, what kind of behavior is that for an adult? Don Paolo, this is so disappointing. Uh, if you, you were so visible and polite uh, when you disguised as the professor. Of course it was, when I play a part, I make every nuisance of a character. Right down to the way late in ages depart, gentlemen, to get into people's good graces. No terrible thing to say about him. He's not uh, aping the part of a gentleman, he is a gentleman. Whatever. Look, let's just finish this debate with a puzzle. Solve, uh, what I dish out, you go first. To respect the old scrutiny inside, uh, start the orange panel and pass through points A, B, C, A, D in order. Uh, be sure to cross every beam and use every ladder, uh, but your path uh, can't cross except to pass over or under a ladder. Uh, what don't we just. But what? This one's as good as sold. I think one was cracked. Let me think this through again. This one's as good as sold. There you go. Phew, that's a relief. Correct. Uh, whichever route you use is like the letters will be used in the same order. The routes may all seem uh, everyone, but no matter which way you go, since your path can't cross the same, uh, can't cross, uh, what can cross, so this adult is the exact same. Alright, I guess you're, uh, it's not as much as looks. Well, there's a deal, you can go down first. Okay, everyone, the coast is clear. Uh, time to come true. Ah, the things the classic owner got passed away for transporting Gracie's materials. I bet you anything this tunnel leads to is all the way back out to the Thames. I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> Remember who you're talking to, boy. Nobody does secret laboratories just like Don Paolo. But everyone's got to have a hobby. Oh my. What is it? The materials, uh, they are very seem like. No, no, I must be taken. Never mind. The wizard is bearing our way. I'm something we're not welcome here. 
Nice of her, that's how criminals work. The dirtier the deal, uh, the deed, the more cautious they get. See, they're even gonna have to do it to fit a puzzle lock in the sh to the shutter. Puzzle number is 113, one step at a time. Make your way uh, to the red square one step at a time. But I guess, well, you can only move to number different by one from your current number. You really should go with following this rule. Mm. Door open. Each number you touch will light up. Make sure all the numbers on your path are lit up before submitting your answer. can stop Leighton's apprentice. Ha, <laughs> I didn't look standing chance against me. Stupid lock. I hope you didn't try busting up uh, that lock too much, look. It could lead uh, to life criminal. Oh, I'm sure if you say so, Flora. No, well, what are you doing down here? Not so loud, sir. We've come to rescue you. I don't know what you mean. There's no need to play dumb, my friend. We know the whole story. You get to the family around by Dimitri Allen, and you're being forced to work uh, on this research chair, correct? Dimitri Allen? You know his name? But who are you exactly? I knew Professor Layton. Dimitri has been using my good name for his evil, um, evil purposes. Of course, I remember hearing that you worked in oncology. Yes, it all makes sense now. Boy, you can't imagine how shocked I was uh, to learn Professor Layton was actually Dimitri. Are any of the other scientists uh, here aware of Dimitri's true identity? So yes, we didn't talk about it with people here. I wonder what we would do uh, if they got me spreading the kind of information around. I see. Well, if Dimitri is here in the facility with you, uh, sometimes he comes and goes. Like, just quick, hide. We will go ahead head this way. Bro, this place is like a meat looker. I uh, don't see why we have to stand guard down here anyhow. Most of what we're going to find is a, is a rat. Remember how we dropped uh, the ball on the guard duty back at the pagoda? That's why. This is a punishment, and I say we got off easy. If Buster right here is you harping on this gig, he'll knock you, he'll knock your block off. I wish you had stayed in school. Uh, nothing uh, good ever comes from this time of work. Can it, you lunk? We've got 10 hours to our shift end, so let's just uh, ride this out and then go home. If you If you really want uh, to make the, the time go faster, quit the complaining and tell me a joke or something. Psst, did you hear that? And if there's two guards stand here for the next 10 hours. I, I'm heading back, there's guards to know me. If I will come by on my own, they won't stop me. Wait just a moment, I think we might be to get those sellers to overlook us as well. But how? Is that what you said of Promozorum? But you know what they say about desperate times. The goods anywhere right below a wooden crate, all you need to do is cut the rope, uh, but it's all messed up. Bring these to so that the rope connects from Luke's scissors to the uh, crate of a thorn. Keep in mind that you need to use all the tiles. Okay, so we have to use all the tiles.
That should do the trick. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Very nice. Now get that rope. Well, but those didn't see they coming. Uh, they were caught for a while. Yes, an unknown violence, but at least uh, now we can pass safely. Before we move on, please hear me out. We came to prevent Dimitri from cleaning his time machine. We also wish to liberate all the scientists that Dimitri is holding captive. I'm listening. And we can speak directly uh, with the man in his whole mass. Do you know where Dimitri might be right now? Hmm. Well, if he's here, he'll most likely be in the central research room. I can show you the way. Wonderful. Before we go, allow me. Uh, one more question. Very well. Uh, these videos lying around down here. They aren't foot building a time machine, are they? No, they aren't. We're strictly working on here. My specialty is polydimensional physics, and I work on a time machine. The videos lying around there uh, are going for separate research groups within the facility. Does the group also work on Dimitri's supervision? Who knows? A group of fingers with some pretty dangerous stuff. It's not really in line with Dimitri's interest, though. We best press on before these two regain consciousness. Oi! What's the meaning of this, Overcrace? Who are these people? This is a group for Salatin, Cuthbert. Group of Salatin? What does it even mean? Um, look, I'll explain it all later, but we don't really have time to get into it right now. All you need to know is, for now, that the Bruiser have come to help us get out of here for good. You do want to go back to your own time in the past, don't you? Home? I didn't even think to, get, to go back. How can I, Professor? Uh, I have to find the mission, the man who's been using my name. There is in the central research room, where is that? You're close, it's just uh, a waste down this corridor. Wow, I still can't believe you're with the real Professor Imagine that. As I recall, you were rather surprised uh, to see me the last time we met as well. Oh, yes, you have to excuse me, I had no way of thinking who I was talking with. And now, there'll be a uh, time for chat later. You should uh, get a move on before you get spotted. But and his goons came through earlier, saying that the retreat was in the building. Uh, we didn't have that much time. Well, how about how did he manage to spot us so quickly? I should have known. We probably uh, took the infrared sensor at some point. There's a standing idea later, and let's go. These are repairs uh, to lead to the central research room. I sure Dimitri is in there. Uh, uh, asked why. You hear him talk uh, to us before, Luke. He can still be reasoned with, I'm sure of it. Our well, first thing is just to get this door open. It's got some strange lock on it. And then it was an adapt. Dimitri wishes to test the intelligence of all those who enter this lab. He then plays out one on five. Uh, the, lo the orange plus sign shown in the top left corner is hidden somewhere in the green grid. Uh, it's okay. Okay, sure. 